you're looking at the Lord Mayor of Lawn. That's right, that's the King of Lawn. Lawn is run by cockatoos. <laughs> Welcome to this first episode on the Great Ocean Road series. Enjoy. Yeah, that was. Ooh. Carved out of the mountain, and then on the left we've got sheer cliff face. This is just epic. This is like something out of one of those Hollywood movies. Or a stay awesome van life movie that you're watching right now. Well, welcome to my Stay Awesome Van Life van, which is currently my editing suite, my office, my bedroom, my kitchen, <laughs> and my vehicle. There we go. It's uh, it's all systems go here. Editing of film at the moment. Got the mic out, ready for some real serious voiceover. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I've been doing it with. And I'll put this little rubber thing over the top because I wanted a mouse pad. And now I've got the biggest mouse pad in the world. See, there I can move my mouse. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> it was an expensive mouse trap. Trap. <laughs> pad. You see the, oh, the video I'm working on? Oh, you want to know about that? Okay. The video I'm working on has to do with cockatoos and how they run one seaside town on the Great Ocean Road. They're the mayor, they're the police, and they're the criminals too. <laughs> well, there's a fight on now. <laughs> Classic. So guys, I get so many stories about these cockatoos in this street. They're absolutely amazing. Um, apparently they pinch people's food and everything. <laughs> Do not feed the cockatoos, it makes them sick. Well, there's a fight on now. <laughs> First impressions of lawn. As soon as I arrived, these cockatoos made their presence known. Instantly, they were causing me grief. <laughs> well, I've got some more subscribers. But these little fellas come to visit. How are you guys? What are you doing? Hmm? Scratch cookie! Woo! Jeez, he's cheeky. You get off there. You get off there. What are you doing on there? <laughs> Maybe he doesn't chew my wiring, little bugger. The main street of Lawn. Beautiful. Gasman. And there's the shop. So guys, I just went to Lawn and bought some laundry basket <laughs> for the van. I needed to have a laundry basket because I'm in Lawn. Alright, excuse the pun. We've got bin birds in Brisbane, these guys. Oh, look at this guy. He's had a tough life. A few too many um, Big Macs, this bloke. Look at him. No? There's a lawn surf shop. The surf's actually pretty good today. It's quite reasonable. A few stats about lawn. Lawn has a population of 1,400 people. Lawn is 1,905 kilometres from Brisbane. That'll give you an idea how far I had to drive. It took me four days with a few stopovers. I didn't get an option. Uh, Look at this five star cockatoo food. Huh? These guys are really the roof. There we go. You can get rid of them if you want. I'm, I'm just laughing. But they seem to run the joint. <laughs> Coffee break time. So, guys, I'm at the coffee shop. Bloody flies. I'm at Lawn. This coffee shop's. Just having a coffee and something to eat, but the bloody flies are driving me nuts. Um, cockatoos around here got a real reputation. The locals hate them. <laughs> <laughs> they keep stealing not only their food, they steal all their little bits and pieces. Anything they can pick up with their beak, they take off with it. So 
They're not very popular in here, but I think they're pretty cool, but they're cheeky buggers. I've never seen so many cheeky cockatoos. They're not scared of humans. It's more or less like they run the joint, eh? You gotta do what they tell you. <laughs> it's funny. It's really hilarious. So guys, I think I've found an escape from the cockatoos just get in front of these uh, two scarecrows here. This is how tame they are. They're incredible. They know how to get a feed. Look at that. These, these guys are legends. They tell me they like the Thai chicken curry pie. That's their favourite. This guy here. As soon as he sees the camera coming in, he knows what's going on here. Oh, you're Australia's most unwanted. <laughs> okay, mate. We're on to you. Parking inspector's going to get you. Oh, there's more. You got to. Oh, look. You're not safe anywhere around here. They've got lookouts, they've got cockatoos on top. There you go, the famous lawn cockatoos. Hello! You, you wouldn't believe it guys. The wind drops off, the sun comes out. I've got my winter woolies on. <laughs> I can't believe it, I just can't believe it. Anyway, it might be time to get the old um, jumper off, I think. Jumper's off. Shower. is about a kilometre around from the main beach on lawn. Great spot, nice vantage points, great street furniture. Uh, spear fishing prohibited and don't ride your bike out here. They didn't read the sign. <laughs> so this jetty is only about one kilometre around the corner from the main lawn beach. It's a really good walk. It goes out at least what, a kilometre. And there's a lot of uh, fishing going on there. Guys with 10 rods even. One guy with 10 rods, believe it or not. I spotted him at the end. But anyway, yeah. I don't know if he got a fish or not. A lot of leather jackets being caught. That little doggy there, he was walking up and down trying to find his owner, I think. But yeah, it's a very nice walk. Very peaceful. A little bit windy. And it seemed to be four seasons in one day. Uh, it's just like Melbourne actually, so you had that to deal with, but all in all Fantastic and definitely worth taking the walk out there and uh, Seeing what vantage point these fishermen have and hear yeah, what they're catching a bit of surf there Adds you'd love that Nice break. I don't know about the sharks, but anyway There's that dog still looking for his owner And there's me with no thongs on. Oh Here's no! Artwork. Let have a look in here go one step further than a scooter I've just seen it it's to your right see this um, RV on your right Winnie Bago look behind it that car's not following that car's being towed and they even have the brake lights hooked up to the Winnie Bago absolutely brilliant how is that when you're talking about having a second vehicle with you that is taking it to the extreme Picnic time. And here they are, at it again. <laughs> They're looking for their next victim. They're incredible, these guys. So I booked into a caravan park, RV park. I booked that I was there last night and I'm there again tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
There was a bit of a look at Lawn Beach when it wasn't raining, but it's just starting to spit now. I better get up to my van and get rid of it because uh, I've taken the car park over two hours now, I think. So here we are driving along the main street of Lawn and surprisingly, it starts to rain again. What a surprise. So it's two hours parking along here on the shore side, on the ocean side, and one hour is parking on the shop side. Just be mindful of that, but I haven't seen them police at all, but I noticed every car park has got a special number. There's some of those cockatoos at it again. Wearing wetsuits, going for a swim, well that just about tells you it all, doesn't it? Even the bins here are copper to protect it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, what a classic. It is vitally important that we recognise that this Great Ocean Road was built for great Australians who represented our country, fought for our country, died for our country, and gave service for our country in World War I and all the wars that have followed, lest we forget.